Well, this past trip to Essen has been a phenomenal experience. It was less effort bringing the ring to Mount Doom than it was getting to Essen. I had to take four airplanes, I had almost a full day's worth of layovers, and a couple of trains. Once I finally got to Essen and found my hotel, it was on. All right, day one of the Essen Spiel. I got up bright and early. Leaving the hotel, I'm walking down to meet Tom and the Dice Tower crew to get my badge since I will be helping out at the Dice Tower booth selling promos and whatnot. I've got my map giving me directions. It's about a 30 minute walk, which I prefer over taking a bus. So get a little bit of exercise in the morning. I've got my list of games I want to check out from the um, Eric Martin preview page and uh, everything's printed out by Hall. So uh, I've got the morning, I'm going to try and grab up what I can. I'm not going to get too bent out of shape if anything is sold out because there's just so much stuff. Anyways, talk to you soon. So here I am at the Cool Mini or Not booth, checking out the newest releases. A Song of Ice and Fire is one game that I collect. The new Starcadia quest coming out. These paintings look phenomenal. Can't wait for my Kickstarter to arrive. This is the new Ankh game from Eric Lang. I love Blood Rage and Rising Sun, so I am through the moon excited about this one. Again, the minis are just amazing. This is a new one coming from Eric Lang. I know almost nothing about this one, but anything he designs always catches my attention. Black Rose War. This one was on my most anticipated Essen list. I heard pretty good things about it. I like my Dueling Mages game, and I got to play a demo of this a few turns, and I did really enjoy the game. I just felt it wouldn't replace a game like Mage Wars for me, so at the price it was at, I opted not to buy it. This game was a good time, Paranormal Detectives. I played a full game and I was the ghost, and you've got different ways you're going to communicate with the players, and they're competing to find out how you died, where you died, what was used, and all these things. They can do things like get you to draw on their back, or use an Ouija board type thing. I like that it was competitive, and the mysteries were a lot of fun to solve. Hanging out at the Dice Tower booth. Selling promos, some crowd shots just showing you how many people are actually around. This is our view from the Dice Tower booth. There's Dave Luza and his son. Over at the Simon booth, they've got a zombie side black plague game in play with a 3D fortress. The Cthulhu Death May Die Riley Rising statue all painted up. Here's a crowd of the hallway between all the holes. Over at the Osprey booth, I got to play a full game of Judge Dredd, a Wildlands engine game. It was a ton of fun, and it's one I want to get. This is Hall 6, where all the miniature games booths were, with some fantastic, crazy dioramas. I just love looking at this thing, being a miniatures painter and a little bit of a war gamer. Over at the Mythic Games booth, I got to play two games of Joan of Arc. This is one that was on my radar. I played a scenario-based game and a head-to-head -head game. And I did really enjoy it, but I've already got a Song of Ice and Fire filling this niche for me. But overall, a cool game. Also at the Mythic Games booth, I got to try out Super Fantasy Brawl, which is a skirmish-type game that I backed on Kickstarter. And it was a really good time. It fits in that niche with uh, Unmatched Legends or Funkover Strategy Game. Really enjoyed it and glad I backed it. Day two of Essen. I am a little over halfway in my 45 minute walk from the hotel down to Spiel. It's about an hour walk on the way home because I carrying a bag of games and it's slightly uphill the whole way. But yesterday was fantastic. I brought home a little bit of a haul. I demoed a bunch of games. I got to meet the crew from the Dice Tower and uh, many of the contributors. 
Today I am going to try and demo as many games as possible. Really early in the morning before it opened up to the public, I checked out the Scale 75 paint booth and I'm really eyeing up their new smooth line. Looks really cool. Back at the Dice Tower booth, putting in some more time selling promos. And this is just a shot of what it looked like before the crowd showed up. There's Eric and Tom and Sam and Susan and Dave Luza and Yuri, who was uh, kind of like our German guide of sorts. He is an absolute legend. Got to play a full game of Cthulhu Death May Die and it was fun. This was something I backed and received on Kickstarter. But after playing it, I was just like, I'm so happy I got this game. It is fun, fun, fun. We were one hit point of damage we had to deal on Cthulhu to win the game, and we just ended up losing. Marvel Crisis Protocol. It took me a couple of days to get in on one of the two demos they were running, but it was a ton of fun, and I have since bought the game. They had some amazing table setups. Here's the park, and this is the subway below. Played a few rounds of it and knew it was a game for me. Tried out the Pacific Rim miniatures game, and this was a huge letdown. I did not like this game at all, and I love the IP. Too bad. Attended my first Dice Tower live show. After watching it on YouTube for so many years, it was great to sit down in person. Here's the rush of crowds coming in in the morning. 40,000 or so people rushing the gates. People were running, it's crazy. It's so crazy. And then the rest of the day you're getting bounced it's around so the ping pong balls. This is Hall 7, which is completely empty. And I wish they would just fill this with gaming tables so people had a place to go play. It would really make this convention even better. Here's some more Marvel Crisis Protocol. This is when I actually got in for the demo. Superhero battles, and no game feels more like superheroes using their powers than this game. Back at the Simon booth, I got to try out the new Zombicide Second Edition. We played a tutorial scenario, which we beat, and it was cool. I like some of the changes. Never got to try this game, Wings of Glory, but it certainly looked cool. And it looked like they had an alien version of the game, like uh, World of Worlds type scenarios. And this is just me walking around, taking pictures. thought this three-dimensional Gloomhaven board was pretty rad. This game Hadara with Mandy and it's got that Seven Wonders comparison but I really enjoyed the game. It was a good one. Taking some pictures of other games that looked interesting around. This is some wild chess game but the fact that you used dice turned me off it a little bit. Glyph it's called. This is back at the Hall 6 with all the wargaming, wargaming dioramas. Man, they look cool. I love this sort of stuff. I was really excited to play Guards of Atlantis 2. I got to play with the designer and Mr. Sam Healy, and it's a completely underrated game that I love. Taking a break from all the action and hanging out at the Dice Tower booth. I went to this Dice and Mystics gaming event after the con one night and played this really interesting tile laying game. I forget the name of it, but it was pretty cool. I even found a dungeon downstairs in the bathroom. Here's a crowd shot of everyone hanging out at the Dyson Mystics. They were wonderful hosts. Kung Fu Panda the board game. Real-time game. 
It was fun. I liked it. Over at the Chip Theory Games booth. Man, I love this company. I was able to pick up a couple expansions that weren't available on their online store. I was able to check out a demo copy of the new Dice Throne Adventures game, the co-op. I wasn't really interested in at it at first, but after getting the mechanics explained to me, I am going to go ahead and back this one. Back at the Mythic Games booth. This is where I got in on a PvP game of Joan of Arc. Over at the Lucky Duck booth, I played some demo rounds of Time of Legends Destinies, and this was fantastic. This is Seventh Continent turned up to 11. This is a shot of the crowds around lunchtime, and this is that same shot in the morning before the crowd show up. Giant version of Ice Cool. My kid would have loved this. And some painted Nemesis minis. And that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in to my Essen vlog. Feel free to leave some comments down below. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. My biggest critique about the festival is there's nowhere to play games. It's just a buy games con. But that's all for now. I'll catch you next time.